Alright, look at this. We're having some fun now. It's time to move into Mapbox GLJS. The real fun. Making it front-end experience. So all that stuff we did in studio was all kind of making the base map for uh, everything we're going to do later. You could probably even imagine making this kind of base map that we have on this, uh, this slideshow here. You could get a shape file, you could style the borders, you know, you could make this texture probably somehow. You could probably make this uh, a point and have this be a SVG or a PNG. Make that all uh, actually a real, really cool, like, historical kind of map. So in this uh, episode or series, we're going to go over uh, zooming, centering, just some styling, basic stuff. Uh, when I say styles here, I mean actually importing the styles that we used, uh, that we created in Mapbox Studio. I'm going to go over some map controls, just uh, straight GeoJSON data. So we've been working with different types of data. Um, now, how do we just add it into the front end? And also talk a little bit about how Mapbox Studio data is available. It's a little confusing, and it's one of the sticking points when you start with Mapbox GLJS. You often want to access the data that you've put already into Mapbox Studio, but it's not really clear right off the bat how to do that. And there's also different ways to get the data from the style versus getting the data from tile sets. You can load in tile sets separately. You can also call directly GeoJSONs from Mapbox. There there's really a lot of different options. You know me, let's just get started with some code and we're going to start from nothing and we're just going to make this whole thing work. Can I just have make a map? Make map. Something I just copy a whole file. Right there. Alright, so that looks fine to me. And what's kind of cool is they, if you've already logged in, they kind of embed your, your current access token right in there, which is... Uh, just makes it nice and easy. You can just copy everything. All right, let's just save that as index.html. Put that into the right place. All right. Right on. So there we go. We have our map. I like how they've uh, done their positioning for the map. It's quite clever. I've always used um, some JavaScript to do this, but this kind of uh, just absolute positioning and kind of sticking it right in the middle with this width. Very simple, very clever fix. Now, there we are. We've made the map. Now, obviously, there's some options right in here. That's pretty straightforward. Um, there's quite a few options available for the map. So why don't we go back to the documentation? So we'll just go back to the documentation. OK, so in here we have a uh, map. Here we go with options. Min zoom, max zoom, style, right? We could just take one of these, copy it, throw it in here. Oh. And there we go, boom, reload. There's our new style, easy peasy. So if you go into your styles now, we have to actually publish this to make it available so we can use it. Um, so I just hit publish if you didn't uh, do it yet. Hit publish, go through a little interface. It'll say a bunch of stuff. You can go back to the styler or just come out here and get the style URL from where it appears there. Put it into your style and let's reload um, now I have had a problem before where sometimes when you try to put in the style for some reason it just isn't showing correctly it seems to just be showing the style and it's changing but uh, it's not doing it correctly you can just duplicate and then delete your original so I'm gonna I, I did that here I'm uh, gonna delete the original and I have the duplicated one you copy the style URL and load her in and then uh, we load it up and we see it actually shows us right the place that we had set um, our last zoom the last time we were in the, the actual style itself. So if we go in, we should be pretty much at the same spot. Yeah, so there we are. We loaded up and we're pretty much the same place. So that's kind of how you set it in Mapbox. And uh, now we can see we can move around this map using all our, it's basically the same thing. All right, so uh, how to set zoom levels and all the rest of that is pretty straightforward. You can just set, uh, you can just set your zoom, you know, whatever way, and you can set pitch the same way. You can say 60. You can set rotation as well, minus 30, minus 20, whatever, and center. You just have to provide a latitude and a longitude. So if we just go with that, there we go. Just Loading up some random place at some random um, 
spinny thing. Okay. <laughs> just in some random place here in Africa. And you can see our data over there. So that's just some basics. Um, now, if we want to change those dynamically, it's uh, not too hard. We can just say things like map.set zoom. And we can change it quite easily to, you know, uh, let's change it to 15. We'll just set a little timeout on that just so we can see it happening. So timeout of uh, two seconds. And then we'll have it zoom in. There we go. We see it flashed. So that was zoom in. Again, this is pretty weird. Um, so maybe just what we'll do, instead of starting it at the center, because I kind of like the center that it gave us, we'll just use the default. And uh, what we'll do is a slightly different syntax here. And it's fly to, and this is kind of a cool effect that Mapbox has uh, built in. And we could just say, for instance, zoom 15. I'm going to get rid of all the defaults. Just bring it back to the normal beginning. And there we are, and you can see we just kind of zoomed in with a very general, with a kind of nice slow zoom. We could also change the center that way. We could change again. I'll just put in negative 10, negative 10. And we'll see that we'll kind of fly all across the globe once it loads. Whoa! And here the, the rendering is not keeping up, which is definitely a problem. So, you know, that can be an issue, maybe. Um, it's also that this map is not the most incredibly styled one. So why don't we display something a little nicer, like the streets map, just so we can see things in a bit more beautiful map boxy way. All right. So there we go. We zoom right into water and nothing, because that's I just put nothing. So uh, instead, we'll just have it zoom in a little bit. But I want you to get the idea of that fly to event. And if we go to fly to API, oh, there it's right there. And we go to fly to. And we get a bunch of options in here. Curves, speed, spin speed. You can see there's a lot of different ways you can uh, modify the way that they'll move you around in that fly to. Uh, we're also going to talk a little bit about map controls. So there's a few basic things when it comes to map controls in uh, Mapbox. It's uh, fairly easy. It's just like in the old Mapbox GLJS or in Leaflet if you're used to it. Just things like add control with Mapbox GL and navigation control items. Again, just look these up in the API. You're going to see if we look up control. There's a whole swack of them over here. There's scale, full screen. These do what you would imagine, right? There's even a geolocation control that allows you to do a pretty quick and nice... Uh, there's an autocomplete as well for Mapbox GLJS now. They've uh, recently put that out. Uh, just add a geocoder. It's quite a nice little one here. So they have these available as well as uh, controls. So if you're ever in need of making some additional little, uh, you know, these, these simple controls to help people understand how to use your map, then just check it out here in the API, and it's quite straightforward. Add control, geolocate. So I'm going to add this one to our map, just because I quite like it. And boom, there we go. And let's load it up, see it on there. All right, there's a little geolocate control. Cool. All right. So, um, and we could easily add the geocoder as well. Why don't we add both, just to, just to be really technologically savvy here. Looks like we need to also load in a couple extra scripts for that, so let's just do that. Just takes a second anyway. Boom. There we go, and we have both on there. And it looks like we get some locations, and it does a fly-to in between. Okay, great. So that's uh, some controls.